Hello everyone, uh, my name is Omrad. I am a federal KDA SIC member and I'm also working with other section of the federal, including Mindshare. I'm doing packaging for Fedora as well, also helping the federal websites and apps teams. Today, I would like to share about the idea of uh, Plasma Mobile in, in Fedora. Uh, basically, what we want is we want to bring all the Plasma Mobile and mobilities into the Fedora zone and so we can have more uh, devices can work on that or try to able to use Plasma Mobile in Fedora. So, a little bit of about us. Uh, Fedora, Fedora ha has a team called Fedora KDA SIG team. Fedora KDA SIG team is a special interest group. Uh, they, there are uh, groups of Fedora contributions that maintain KDA packages as well as KDA spin and also uh, Fedora Kinoite as well. And our our mission is basically to provide an high quality packages and also a KDA software is uh, so developers and users can able to use it and also support maintaining those packages. So uh, KDA team, as a KDA SIG team member, uh, we do have uh, meetings every single Monday uh, based on UTC 18. And it's about an hour and it's placing on the big blue button in the KDA, in the KDA instance. So they are discussing uh, what we can we do for KDA and also Plasma Mobile and Fedora Kinoite as well. So, uh, what is Plasma Mobile? So first things first, we need to explain what is the Plasma Mobile if, if anyone doesn't even heard of it yet. Uh, Plasma Mobile is offering uh, a user-friendly privacy enabling platform with the custom customizations also included in mobile devices. It's shipped with different distribution right now with post market OS, Manjaro and OpenSUSE and hopefully we want to see Fedora in our list as well. It can run uh, devices are supporting distributions. So basically it's not just these distributions it can be any Linux distribution if they want to do compatible. So it provides fully open source uh, which base can others can help and develop themselves in their product. So it's also using heavily, uh, the Plasma Mobile app, sorry, is developed uh, heavily with the Kirigami. Of course, this question is going to be comes up. So what is Kirigami then? Well, uh, Kirigami is, is KDA's powerful lightweight user interface framework for mobile and, con and convergent applications. It's not just for mobile, it's also compatible with desktop applications as well. So when you have an ap application in Kirigami, uh, you can actually make it compatible very easily in Plasma Mobile because the reason behind it is Kirigami giving you the flexibility like we do in responsive uh, web applications. And when you scale the application higher uh, or bigger or smaller, it will also scale based on that. So that's what we want in Plasma Mobile because we need an application is able to use this cute quick controls tool to have this flexibility and also lightweight application and, uh, speed as well, and which is very important. And this philosophy is also laid on key human interface guidelines. So this is very important piece in Plasma Mobile because when we developing an application, we want to make sure that that application should be compatible with that small screens and we want to also make it scalable in bigger or smaller that's very important that's why kirigami is a very nice way to do it in kda <clears throat> so how many plasma mobile apps we have well we have a lot i mean there are many applications already in the place in plasma mobile list and there are many more and maybe i, I didn't put them in all on the list but i would just just share like a fair share of that list to have like uh, there's a lot of applications already in the place in plasma mobile and we're trying to bring them all into the Fedora and try to make it compatible but there is one more thing I would like to get an attention some applications are is actually in in Fedora in KDA desktop actually generally speaking KDA desktop like Ocular uh, because like NeoChat uh, also some other applications but so that means when you make an application in KDA or generally for Qt or Kirigami, you can still able to make it compatible with mobile as well if you know how to develop it. 
So that's an that's a nice thing because some of the application we already have is also already is in the have this nice ability to use on Plasma Mobile, and we are really happy to see this change is morally happen in other applications because once we get this more flexibility and more user friendly uh, application in KDA Plasma, generally speaking, it will be also have more application in mobile as well. Also for, of course, we are not just talking about Plasma Mobile. So, we, so when we say mobile, it everybody thinks like just the phones, but we don't want to do that. We want to also think a little bit bigger than this. Like we have, we want to think about all the mobile devices like tablets small laptops like some key keyboard uh, and screen is detachable laptops some model some some of the models in industry is already have this and we want those also be play nice with plasma mobile in key in federal as well so what have we done so far well also what do we want to do in the future as well that's, yeah, that's going to be the both section so we want to do packaging all the Plasma Mobile uh, and bring them into the Fedora as we speak. Finding the packages and sub packages, whatever needed. Like some packages is not in, not directly in developed by Plasma Mobile. It could be some library we want to think about it and find out what it is. And of course, we are working with the, with the mobility team in Fedora because we want to make sure that hopefully in the future, uh, we want to bring, uh, maybe a pine phone on other phones into the in the plasma mobile realm as well i mean that was a talk happened also in the nest early on and so i don't want to get into the too much of a detail but i would like to say that uh it will be really nice to have a uh, fedora mo mobile edition in, in plasma mobile as well which is will be amazing so of course we are not just targeting our phones or like secondary architecture, we also, as we speak, targeting every architecture. We want to create ISO for, ISOs for make it installable for all the more uh, mobile devices and embedded devices and also other uh, laptops and tablets, of course. And we want to have this GSM integration, touch screen on keyboard support and other uh, finger gestures and whatever is necessary is also, if it can happen in Plasma Mobile user interface, we, of course, we want to make sure that that will be also uh, smooth and nicely working in Plasma Mobile. So, as we speak early on, uh, we have some use cases. We are, as we said, we are not just targeting phones uh, only. We want to target more devices than that, because uh, these pack when we are packaging uh, something for Fedora, we are generally targeting all the architecture, like a uh, normal uh, x x86, normal ARM. ARM, ARM 84 and some other X as like other platforms and power PCs and as like S 290s and architectures and etc. So when we do this, that means we are bringing all the packages into the old architecture. That means it could run in any machine in theory. And if the hardware and everything is, is in the place, why not? It works. So our use cases is what we're thinking of some small laptops as we speak before. And we want to have keyboard detachable laptops also uh, could be in our and other use cases. And if there's any tablet out there which has uh, x86 architecture or ARM64, uh, if it is compatible, of course, because there are many hardwares are, is, uh, could be incompatible uh, with, uh, because of the drivers and other closed source issues. So we, when it's come to this problem, uh, you know, we cannot just uh, bring them directly into the Fedora so easily. It needs to be coming from the upstream as well. And as we, as we Fedora, we try to, of course, push this uh, ideas to bring them into the upstream, but sometimes not everything is so much, so much easy or silky similar. It, it happens, but when it's happened, of course, we want to bring it into the, our <clears throat> Fedora kernel or whatever is necessarily be done. And of course, we have some path support if it is possible, because we want to see that since this is a, a tablet or mobile devices, it is basically much more uh, mobile, mobile because you can bring them anywhere easier than your laptop. Of course, today's laptop is also easier to carry, but uh, when it's come to the phones and your 
other uh, devices like lighter than laptop, uh, of course, you want to have the accessory support as well. But it's also up to the plasma mobile as well. Uh, but uh, like there are some devices has the Wacom support on the screen, and this is actually supported in Red Hat, no, sorry, in Fedora, sorry, in the Fedora kernel. So uh, normally it just works out of the box if nothing if nothing is wrong. If there is the if they have this some really special devices. <clears throat> and if of it will be have it uh, in i mean it could it could not work uh, if it is going if it needs to be work of course it needs to be have the driver as well uh for quick interruption to answer the question uh if uh that's up to uh the federal mobility team as well because pine for has some drivers needs to be included in Fedora, but technically, uh, once we have all the Plasma mobile packages in Fedora, uh, as I said earlier on, uh, of course, it will be possible to use in, in future, definitely, because we are definitely looking into it to have uh, our operation system with the Plasma mobile and when bring them all into the Pine phone to use uh, just like just like a normal, normal experience they already have in the other operation system and sort distributions as well. <clears throat> so what do we have some future plans well uh of course we want to bring all the packages and bring them all the just to support and more devices like pine phones and maybe uh, of course uh this is all a possibilities i'm not saying that they are all certain but there are some plans is certain there are some plans we're hoping for but sometimes not everything that uh so much easier uh, and because uh, also in this uh, presentation, I would like to give and show people what are we doing and want to show that, okay, we are working on, on Plasma Mobile and we are bringing them all the packages and trying to get mobile device support as well. Well, as, as also with including the other devices, like uh, the devices doesn't uh, just a normal uh, X68, uh, x86 uh, architectures and all also others as well as we speak earlier so our, our target is basically as we said bring them all the packages and make the compatibilities with the devices we are planning on it and make them work nicely and possibly also smooth of course we want to get an advantage of the valent and the pipe wire and all the goodies and coming into the vaccine but they're also giving you the more performance uh, as a Fedora, we already bring Valent into the KDA's desktop zone, and we are working very hard on it, as well as, as the KDA upstream is also working on it to make it through to nice experience and faster experience as well. And after the recent changes, we have this nice graphical improvement as well happening, and, and this improvement, some of them is could be useful for our mobile sections as well, hopefully. And how do you get involved to the, our team? I mean, we, we, we need more if, and we need help as well. Like we are working on it. And of course, sometimes we may be missing something and we, you may have a new idea and this idea maybe could be an amazing and awesome. Uh, so how do you find that? Well, if you, you can just say hi and in matrix and IRC, and also you can join us in our weekly meeting. You can help the KDA projects on for plasma related project or KDA itself as well, because we are bringing the packages into the Fedora. That means if you help the upstream directly, so that means you're helping us and everybody else as well. And which is that's very important pieces because uh, some of the projects is we're trying to maintain it uh, as a packager, but the upstream also doing the bug fixes and other stuff as well. I mean, if you know how to solve it as a packager and if the packager has a time and knowledge to do that, of course, he will he, he or she will help it help it out. Uh, you can also help the hardware side with the mobility team because as we speak early on, uh, there are some hardware issues uh, and also some kernel problems on the Pine phone especially, and we need more help on that as well because if you don't have a proper hardware acceleration and hardware support that like like some one of the example let me give it a, like 
let's just say we cannot use GSM. That means we can't do calling, and that's a bad thing because we want to call people with the, with our with our open source system as well. <clears throat> also, if you find any issues and problems and features and uh, etc., you can of course open a ticket in our Pajor slash KDA <clears throat> SIG site, and also try to send a pull request in our uh, packaging package and whatever is necessary. Also, as I said earlier, you can join our meetings and say hi and listen and share your ideas and thoughts as well because we want to hear about you. Maybe you have some amazing idea and thoughts and to, of course, we're going to listen to you as well. And other than that, I, I'm going to say thank you for everyone who's listening to my talk. And uh, if you want to join us, please come and this, here's our uh, metrics channel and of course the same as course for the libera chat and if you want to just send us a mail uh here's the link over, over there as well and let me type it in the chat very quickly <clears throat> and of course for uh irc another metric channel it's the same goes for everything so I think I'm just finished a little bit early, so I'm trying to answer questions as in my power and in my knowledge. <clears throat> so let me see, there is, do we have any questions? Uh, I, uh, will KDA Plasma be on my, in PinePhone? Uh, I just answered this already. So as we speak, once we package everything and create ISOs, of course, of if the PinePhone upstream problems has been solved, of course, we want to have it in our uh, we want to have our Fedora Plasma mobile, you know, in the Pine Phone. Uh, can one get involved in contributing the Plasma component without much of a knowledge C and Q how? Of course, uh, you can you can involve the Plasma component without much of a knowledge because here's the thing: uh, you don't need to know coding. You don't need to do Q as well. You can help us uh, and help the Plasma mobile with. Translation, designs, documentation, and also other non-technical stuff could be also welcome as well. Because uh, once one we are we are not just doing coding and just creating application all the time. And as same goes for the KDA upstream team as well. They are also working on the translations and designs and other stuff as well and documentation as well. And they are the they are the pieces make this make this project and every project is great as well because without the documentation and newcomers can contribute it and without a design it will be not appealing to user interface and it will be nice not nice to people who wants to use it so they are of course a very important pieces as well uh okay here's another question i just see i probably miss it but can you call and as it is with kda mobile stack or is it going to be uh, done in the future well, uh, it's a. I I'm not going. To, I don't have any certain decision on that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, but uh, all the plasma packages uh, is going to be controlled by KDA sixteen. KDA sorry, KDA. Yeah, KDA sixteen. Yeah, in Fedora. So, I think. I mean, of course, they are going to be have their own. Uh, packages in the list as well, but all is going to be controlled by uh, KDA. But if you're asking for creating some meta packages, like uh, installing all of them as once, yeah, that will going to be happening in the future, of course. Okay, I'm going to wait uh, a couple more minutes. Uh, if you have any, if you have any other question, uh, please ask. Uh, if it doesn't, I'm going to say. Of course, thank you everyone who is joining this uh, talk. It was really nice and pleasure to share with you about uh, Plasma Mobile in Fedora. Okay, here's another question. Uh, is Kirigami on the uh, uh, Kirigami is mostly using uh, Qt Quick. Uh, it's, it's on top of the Qt Quick. So it is using, it's a, it's a UI framework. So technically, you can use with other languages as well, but uh, it depends on the inter integration you have. But mostly in the documentation, 
they are using Qtquick slash C++ mostly. I think that's all about it. Again, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for this uh, for this opportunity and for this for this talk. Thank you for listening, and have a nice have a have a nice and amazing day. Thank you so much. Bye bye.